This is the uh, dome light from my 2006 Malibu Max. And um, this may happen to other Malibu, Malibus or other Chevrolets that use the same dome light. And this part is the part of the switch. And as you can see, it, it got really overheated and it broke. I think there was a short. And um, so I thought, thought I would and get it instead of buying another light and having the same thing happen again maybe even starting a fire i would just use this part these tabs or would insert into the um, headliner so you know that's perfect so i'll just use this as the base for um an led light that i bought let me get that Here's the LED light, dome light I bought, and I had to, um, they soup, not super glued it, but hot glued it, but it came apart, and I hot glued it again. I also hot glued the wires, too, so they wouldn't, they're kind of thin. They're not going to get a lot of stress once it's installed, but just in case, I put, you know, some uh, hot glue on them to, to um, keep them from uh, overstressing. And so that has a base. It goes on and then she has four um four hanas four horizontal cutouts that's for this see if those tabs go in there's like a little nub on the other side that does lock on to you have to slide it a little bit and then you can put screws through so i'm going to put screws through and attach it to to attach it to this so there's there's a connector that's still viable that um it looks like well it looks sort of like that but um i'll show it to you later so this is what the connector the, the dome light connects to see you got red purple gray and black and that's what the connector looks like and it plugs into that dome that I was showing you the dome receptacle they only give you three wires on this they only give you three wires so you could add a third wire so I hope I'm interpreting this correctly so the middle position is off, and then you've got a 2 and a 1. This is a schematic representation of all the um, interior lights on a 2006 Chevy Malibu. And it's probably pretty similar on a lot of other GM cars too. And um, this is the dome light right here. And... In most cars that I, well, all the cars I've ever had that um, are my, or um, have a car computer, they have they'll have like 12 volts connected to one side of the solenoid or motor or whatever it is, and um, either the the car will do it for you, like for the windows to roll the windows up and down. You have a switch, and that what it does is just when you pull when you push that switch, it connects the um, the circuit to ground but the car computer when it does functions for you it does the same thing it will um like for a solenoid or the, this dome light it's got 12 volts at one side and then um what the car computer will do is it, it connects the other side to ground to turn it on when you click your clicker or um you open the door and it's throughout it's like that throughout your car there's all kinds of um solenoids throughout your car that the uh, monitor engine conditions that the car computer turns on and off too so um they, they all have like 12 volts on one side and then the, the car computer connects the other side to ground and then that's it turns the turns the solenoid on same for this light and what happens is you have the you have a i bought a um an led dome light it's a multiple little leds i'll show it to you later or I may have shown it to you already. It depends on when I put this in the video. 
and um, it has it has three positions it has off it has one and two and if you put it on two what it does this brown this black wire is always connected to ground so if you put it on this position the dome light will come on if you put it on off it will never come on for anything um, and if you put it on door right here what happens is when you open the door the car computer through this gray wire will connect the um, the light to ground and it also does the theater lighting where it, it will dim you know after you close the door it gives you I don't know like 30 seconds and then it starts dimming so then you also have these courtesy lights too right here and they have the same thing. They have a switch. We can turn it on. This the black wire again is connected, always connected to ground. And if you switch the switch to to the, the um, black wire, the lights will come on. Like if you want to turn the lights on inside the car, but if you have them on the auto function where the car computer will take the take that for you and turn them on, what that does it goes to this purple wire here, and that goes to the other side of the of the lamp. So whenever you put this on on or on door, if you put it on on, the dome light and the courtesy lights will come on, providing they're in this position where they're running through the purple wire. Because what you're doing is you're connecting it through ground. It's always on. You're connecting it to the ground that the computer will do. And what happens is if you have it on door, when you um, click your clicker to lock your car or unlock it, I think just for when you unlock it, I think the dome light comes on. And so the courtesy lights will come on too. And I just wanted a bare bones system that I didn't connect up the purple. I'm going to do that later. I just connected up the gray. So only the dome light comes on now. And I'll show you, um, I'll show you a video of that. And, um, so basically, um, That's it. Looking at this again, you know, I think what really happened is that the heat from the lamp melted the um, the base plate, the plastic base plate, and when it did that, it broke uh, connections, and that's why the the light didn't work. So shame on you, GM. <laughs> you should have you should have seen that. It's something so simple as that. I've decided not to use the, uh, the connectors because the red ones, this one all the way on the right, or the left I mean, and I'd have to use this, which is the, which is the, uh, the pin for it. And I'd have to glue it in place, and if it came loose, and the Cover's already warped, and they're really, they're really close together already. If it came loose or anything and touched any of the others, it could cause a really bad short. So I think I'm just going to use like uh, two, um, like a computer type power connector, a male and female power connector. This is my dome light that I've got completed, and. Um, I didn't hook up the um, the purple, which is for the um, I think it's purple, which is um, has the lights come on with the courtesy lights. I can do that later. I just want to get this basically working with the door. When I open the door, the light comes on, and there's the connector. And then there's the there's the wires that um, original wiring harness. So right now I've got it on setting one, which is um, it open. It comes on with the door, and it also has a theater lighting where the, it dims. So I'm closing the door now. It's starting to dim. It's dimming and then it should go off. 
So that's a duty cycle. You can see it flickering. I don't know if you can see that. I'll see that when the they went open the door. It had a it was flickering. I don't know if you could see that in the but it that's how it it, it uh, changes the intensity. It it um, probably increases the duty the off cycle the duty cycle of the lights. It isn't like a potentiometer. So let me open the door. See when it comes back on when I open the door. I don't know if you can see that flicker. You don't see it with your eyes. You just see it in, through the camera. Now it's off. And then it's also got a three-way switch. The middle's off. And then if I switch it to two or one, is yeah, two, the light comes on. And that it, It's that you're on and off. So if you're in the car and you want to the light on you can turn the light on so now I have to build the the mount for it to put it fit in the, the recess in the ceiling okay we're gonna see if the if the light works yep there we go I have a dome light now again and then I close the door And then it starts to fade. Called, I think it's like theater lighting or something. But there's one. There's one LED that stays on. It looks a lot brighter than it is, but it's really a lot smaller, and I don't think it takes much current. I'll keep an eye on it. But there is. There's a. After I get out of the car, there's a. I don't know why it's not on now, but there's a there's a LED on the dash that, that blinks continually. That's a lot brighter, and I think it takes uh, more power. So I'll keep an eye on it. So if I lock the car, I think that's when the the, the light on the dash comes on. Oh, there, oh, it's not a, it's not it's a, the lock that blinks. It's like a lock symbol. And that continually blinks. I'm sure if you take the duty cycle, the, all the, you know, like in eight hours, if it if fifty percent, it's a fifty percent duty cycle. That's like it being on for four hours straight. So that probably takes more power than the that one LED, and it's a real small LED. But I'll monitor it. When I unlock the car, the um, dome light will come on, and without the purple wire connected, the courtesy lights will not come on, but the dome light will still do the theater, the theater dim. And you can see like the front there's no there's no um, courtesy lights that are illuminate the uh, front area just the dome lights on again with because the purple wires and connected <laughs>